Today we are going to be solving a case. Hey, what's going on my fellow Soxies? My name is Soxie Soul and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video where today we are playing a detective-like map called Detective Dan. This seems very interesting to me because I I've had a thought of maybe doing one of these because I thought it was I thought it'd be pretty cool to do a detective like map. So here we are. Story. You are Dan West, a great detective that is only stumped by his wife's murder. You have been working at the agency in in Woodcliffe for a while now, and everything has been quiet until you turn on the radio to hear something shocking. By the way, this takes place in the 1980s, the date is 6-3. For the dumb people, that's June the 3rd of 1981. So let's get right into this. The murder on Saffron Lane. Hmm, turns on radio. Breaking news. For the first time in five years, at 10.30 last night, a murder has been occurred on Saffron Lane. We have been told the killer has gotten away. The victim's a 20-year-old... Stacy Birch died from a gunshot to the head. Oh my god. Uh, telephone rings. Unbelievable. Anyway, you should probably get the phone. It's probably the agency. New objective. Get to the phone downstairs. That's right. Let's do that. Wow, that's actually a very tiny TV. I did not realize that. Um, actually, what's in here real quickly? Can I use the bathroom? I, I can't even use the bathroom. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to click this. Picks up the phone. Hello, this is Dan West, reporting for duty. Dan, we need you at the crime scene right now. I'll be right there. Uh, go to your garage through the door and the stairs to, and go to the crime scene. Oh, okay. Ooh, here we go in my nice little car. Is there anything inside of it? Nope. All right, we'll go right here. Ooh, okay. Man, I know I haven't been in the city in a while, but this looks sketchy. Well, time to go to the crime scene. Hello, Tommy Rizzo. Police line, do not cross. Well, I'm crossing this. Would you like to talk to, pa to Officer Paul Millsack? Yes, I would. Hello, Dan. The crime scene is upstairs. I would go and check it out. She got... She got shot in the head and the bullet is still sticking out. You should try and take it out for research. Ew. All right, I'll check it out. Okay, I will meet you upstairs. All right, so before we even do that, let's check this. Let's check out this area. What's in here? An empty cup. Wow, this is perfect. I'll test the DNA at the police station after I talk to everyone. Hmm, nothing seems to be around here. I think that's it. All right, we'll just go back upstairs. Oh my goodness. Can I take this bullet? There we go. We'll keep that bullet right there. Did I talk to, let's talk to him. Here she is. I bet she was she was pretty before all the um well, you know. Yeah. So what exactly happened here that night? Well it looks like the killer was hiding in in the corner, waiting for Stacy to get out of her room, and then bang, the bullet gets stuck in the head, and no one was to take it out. Luckily the kid wasn't here. He was sleeping over at a friend's house down in downtown Woodcliffe. Man, that's crazy. Still can't believe there's been a murder. Anyway, any suspects? Yeah, here's a book a cool guy made for me with all the suspects and names in it and more. You can talk to all these people after you just check out the, this, off, this house and see what clues you can find. Just do your thing. You're a good detective. Okay, thanks, Paul. No problem. I'll be up for it if you need anything. Tips, do not talk to Tommy last. Tommy. Okay. Alright, so, um, Johnny, Johnny New, Nugs, New Eggs? I think that's how you pronounce it? I don't know. Where he, where he was, I was in my apartment working. Where were you? Can you find him in his apartment building? Uh, Julia Guns, where was I? I was closing up shop at Julia's Juice Tommy Russo, where was he? Signing the papers for my restaurant. It was closing down. Where you can find him outside of the Tommy Pies. Alden Mc Alden McFart. Okay. 
uh michael birch where was he out of town on work trip that's everyone you need to talk to love your friend paul milsack okay so first let's go and talk to who do i want to talk to let's talk to aiden mcflart mcfart Eesh, reeks in here. Hi there, I am Alden, owner of Walfart Groceries. How can I help you? I am Dan West, detective on the Stacy Birch case. I was wondering if I could ask you some. Uh, this guy is nuts. Okay, he's slowly just repeating everything. I, that's, you're weird. Jo Johnny New Newegs, I don't know how you pronounce your name. Hello and welcome to Johnny's apartment. The elevator's down there, but the apartments are up. I don't need an apartment. I'm Dan West, a detective on the case of Stacy Birch. I'll need to ask you some questions. All right, hit me. Hit me with your best shot. Where were you last night at 10.30? Not creepy at all, but I was in my apartment working. Were you? Are you close to the Birch family at all? I'm curious. Well, I live right down the street from them. Other than that, no. Alright, thank you. Goodbye. Hmm. Okay, the elevators are broken. You take a look at the water through the glass. It looks nasty. Eel. Might want to get that water fixed, buddy. No one's going to want that. Alright, let's talk to you now. Would you like to talk to Tommy Rizzo? What do you want? Jeez, so rude. Okay, wow, someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> Sorry, it's just my restaurant got shut down. It's alright. Okay, then may I ask you some questions, Tommy Rizzo? I need you, um, alright? What do you mean? Oh, sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dan West. I'm a detective on the side of Stacy Birch. Okay, that makes more sense now. Uh, okay, where were you last night at 10.30? I was signing some stupid papers for my restaurant because it was closing down. Are you close to the Birch family at all? Uh, if it stops right here, just go to another suspect. This this just may be cor a corrupted chunk. Not really, but I knew Michael a bit. Hmm. Okay, tell me about Stacy, Tommy. Well, she was quiet. She stayed at home and she just got... And she just got laid off her job. Thanks for the help. See you around. Mm. And now we'll talk to these two and... Actually, I don't think there's a gold thing, so never mind. We're not going to talk to you. The last person we're going to talk to is you, Robbie Boulder. What's up? What can I do for you? Hi, I'm Dan. I'm a detective on the Stacy Birch case. Can I ask you some questions, Mr. Robbie Boulder? All right, sure. Where were you last night at at 10.30? I was running my gun shop like always. 24 hours, baby. Okay, are you close to the Birch family at all? Not really, but that poor kid Mark must have been devastated. All right, then I'd like to know what gun this bullet came out of. That right there is a Deagle bullet. Hmm, a Deagle bullet. All right, then I would like to know the purchases of that gun in the last in this last week. Let me take a look here. Um, the last couple of purchases of the Deagle was Al Alden, Johnny, and Michael. All right, thanks for the help. I'll be on my ways. So J Alden, Johnny, and Michael thinks weird. I thought Michael was out of town. Hmm. So let me get this straight. So the last couple guns were that were bought were out of this week were Johnny, Alden, and Michael. They all own guns, but I don't think none of them. Hmm. All right, let's at, let's talk to you last. Hello, welcome to Julia's Juice. What can I get for you? I'm actually gonna. I won't be needing anything. My name's. Dan West, I'm a detective on the case of Stacy Birch. May I ask you some questions? Okay then, ask away. Where were you last night at 10.30? 
I was closing up the shop because we closed at at 10.15. Hmm. 10.15. Okay, are you close to any of the Birch family members? Yes, I am, State. Stacy and I grew up together. We were great friends. Oh, I didn't know you were close to her. Sorry. It's okay. So you're... So you... Cl they close at 10.15. Okay, well, see you later. Well, that's everyone. As you go to the test cup, I found the crime scene at the police station. Go to the police station to test the DNA on the cup. All right, so... Is there anything secret down here? I don't think so, but... We will... How do we... Police station... So wait, go to the police station. Uh, where would that be? I think the police station would be down here. Yep. Okay, here we go. DNA scanner. Place DNA here. Beep boop, beep boop. Calculate in. <laughs> Scanning complete. DNA. Johnny wet new eggs. What? Johnny? He seems so nice. That doesn't seem right. I should go back and talk to him again. Go talk to Johnny again. Mm, no way. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. I did not mean to tuck, take a shirt. Oh, God. Um, It can't be Johnny. No, it can't be. So our only suspects, because I don't truly believe it was Johnny. So we, so our only suspects are Julia, um, Alden, Tommy, and then Robbie. So one of these four are lying. Hmm. Let me talk to Johnny. Let me talk to him. I found a cup with your DNA on it at the crime scene. Care to explain, Johnny? I've been framed. I swear I didn't do it. I have never been in their house before. I think I believe him. There is no way he did this. It just doesn't make sense. Hmm. I'm going to believe him because I don't think Johnny did it. Oh, okay, I believe you. Stay out of trouble. Go talk to Paul at the crime scene. All right. I think I have an idea on who I know. Um, if we get one more, one more case about this, I think I'll be able to do this. Hey, Paul, I found a cup with Johnny's DNA. I went to confront him, and he said he was framed. I think I believe him. I don't know, Dan. I'm going to have to trust you with this one. Actually, I know Johnny's not the killer. Then who is? I don't know yet, but it's between Tommy and Alden. Why don't you go to Stacy's room and look for more clues? That's a good idea. Go and check out Stacy's room. Hmm, is this Stacy's room? No. Where? Where's? Oh, Stacy's room's right here. So this is it, I think. Complaints. This looks like a copy of, of what? Of Tom. This looks like a copy of why Tommy's pies got shut down. That's a motive. I should go talk to Tommy. Dear health inspectors, I recently went to Tommy Meat Pies and realized how bad their food is. When I got when we got there, I ordered a lemonade and I got some weird yellow substance that tasted like pee. I ordered chicken pot pie. The chicken was raw. And the next day I got food poison. I ordered a strawberry pie for dessert. And when I got these weird brown strawberries that tasted terrible, I like you guys to go there and check it out from Stacy. So, I think it was actually Tommy, because, yeah, it should be Tommy, because he, he's mad because he got his, his, uh, place shut down, and the, and the food review was, like, horrible, so I think it's Tommy. Hey, he's gone. I think he knows that I am on him. Wait a second, what's the crack, what's that crack down there? Maybe I can slip through. Hmm. Hmm. 
What the? Well, well, looks like you found my little hideout. So it was you. I knew it. It was you, Tommy, from the start. You were a thief. You, you stole my heart. Pink reference? I get it. I don't get it. Oops, wrong person. Anyway, anyways, why did you do it? <laughs> I love how there was a music reference. Two reasons. One, I wanted to. She was shutting down my restaurant, my livelihood. Two ZM told me to. Uh, I do what he wants to tell me. He, I do what he tells me to do. He orders, I deliver. Who in the holy... Oh, we got him. Anyways, well, I'm I'm just going to skip that. Not so fast. You just admitted the murder of Stacy Birch. You're going to jail, mister. And you're going big time. Ah, cramp. We finally got him. We did it, pa Officer Paul. Yeah, nice job, Dan. I knew you could do it. Thank you very much. And you too, Officer Brad. Could have done it without you. Hopefully you learn your lesson. By the way, we got another case. What is it? Another case? To be continued. Thanks for playing. Hmm. Okay. That was actually pretty fun. We solved the case. Locked him up. Put him up in jail. And yeah. Actually, I kind of wonder what happens if we didn't believe in Johnny and just locked him up. That would have been one of the bad endings, I believe. I guess it probably would, but I don't know. But, yeah, I very much enjoyed this map. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, and if you want to see more adventure maps like these, make sure to leave a like down below. And also, if you're new to the channel today, make sure to hit that like button. And make sure to subscribe today to become a Fabulous Fox. And, uh, yeah, my name is Foxy Soul. Now I'll see all you Fabulous Foxes later. Take care.